Okay, so this is Armand from VAC documenting how these turbos go bad. In my hand is a turbo that has a bad wastegate. Uh, this is the wastegate inside. This is the wastegate open. This, this seemed really loose to begin with, so I was suspicious it was bad. So to confirm it, I put the boost vacuum pump on to the wastegate and I pumped it up. And it's supposed to be closed at about 10 PSI, I mean, or 10 inches of vacuum. I'm at about 5, still closed, 7, 10, still, I mean, still open. I'm up to 15, and it's completely open. This thing is bottomed out. The, the diaphragm and the turbo has completely hit its limit, and there's still no seal in this turbo. The exhaust blows in through here, goes through the spool, and if this wastegate doesn't close, of course it exits and it will not spool up the actual turbo that creates the pressure. Let me show you what a good one does. So we have a record. Is this the other one we got? Oh, uh, oh, this is. This may be a bad one. Actually, yeah. let me go for the one I know is good. This is the one I know is good. And put the vacuum on it. We'll look in here in the wastegate. I want to create the same vacuum. Look at this one. How nicely it moves. I'm at five and it's almost closed. At seven, it's it is closed but not tight. At 10, it's completely tight. I can't spin the wastegate disc. And there's no wiggling, no rattling. That thing is, this is a good wastegate on this pump. So, that's it.